Hello everyone, so I've got a fun video for you today. This is an unboxing and overview of, as you can see, a very large birch box. Um, now, it's been a while since I've done a birch box video on my channel here. It's been primarily um, Bath and Body Works soaps and candles and, and home fragrance and all that stuff uh, for at least the past couple of months. Um, when I first began my channel, I did a little bit more with birch box man products. Um, I even did some sort of um, facial care. Um, grooming style videos early on um, and th for the past six to eight months I've stuck primarily to um, candle and fragrance reviews and things like that um, but I figured this would be a fun one to get into so basically as most folks know Birchbox uh, is a monthly subscription service they have a man's box uh, or men's box um, Birchbox man and then the standard Birchbox for women um, $10 or $20 for women or men respectively uh, and it's a sort of random sampling of um, grooming products for women, it's beauty products, um, skin care, and the men's box, because it's a little more expensive, usually has um, some sort of real item, whether uh, a tie, socks, underwear, t-shirts, um, kind of runs the whole gamut, wallets, just, you know, fun stuff um, that generally makes it a pretty nice value. Um, I haven't done videos on Birchbox for, again, probably about the past uh, a good, maybe close to six months or so, just because... Um, I wasn't sure how interested folks were in, in me still doing them, um, and I kind of got tired uh, of waiting around to unbox only on video. Um, it was more fun to kind of tear into them just as soon as I got them without having to, to plan a video around it. But if, if folks have interest, I'd be happy to get back into that again, because um, it is kind of fun watching, you know, to see what people get. Um, now this is from Birchbox home um, with their, what they're calling limited edition Birchbox home. Um, if you look through my videos last November they had the first version of Birchbox home limited edition box. Um, it was a little bigger than this, it was $45. Interesting stuff for like party planning and, and entertaining in the home. Um, and, and there were some misses in there but there were also some hits in the box. Um, so I got an email a couple weeks ago for this new one that, that they're calling Snow Day, um, which is funny because Bath & Body Works uh, has Snow Day collection this year uh, in their candles that I've reviewed. Um, but of course I saw it, it was um, fairly unisex, maybe leaned a little towards women in, in a few ways, um, but nothing major, um, so I figured I would grab it. It retails for $39. Um, they say the value of everything inside of it is, gosh, I don't even remember exactly, but they, they say that it's, I think, you know, $150 value or something like that. Um, but again, it costs $39. I actually had Birchbox points, um, which you get from just doing reviews on products when you receive them. Um, so I think I paid somewhere around $20. So when it comes to that, you really can't beat it. So without further ado, uh, let's dive into the limited edition Birchbox Home Snow Day. And well, actually, first, let me just read to you what they say about it in case it's not listed inside. Uh, it says, when the weather outside is frightful, and even when it's not, this box has all of the essentials to keep you feeling cozy, pampered, and will admit a wee bit nostalgic for your snowsuit days. So go ahead, slip on some comfy socks, break out the board games, and thank goodness for central heating. Uh, as we, as it says here, a $105 value. And um, they say the box is brimming with crowd-pleasing treats to last you all season. Uh, and then... Uh, I will not ruin the surprise, so let's see. Now the difference between Birchbox Home, these sort of limited edition, bigger, more expensive boxes, and the monthly subscription is that with these, you know what you're getting. So it's not a surprise. Um, they tell you straight up what you're gonna be getting in the box. So that, you know, you're not throwing away $40 if it's things that you don't really want. Now, this is a risk that I am taking for y'all to open this. Let's see if anything falls on me. Mm, seems pretty good so far. Here we go. Okay. And I mean, just look, they, it's really the attention to detail is great with them. Like, you know, the inside of the box is blue, the fun snow filler. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty classy. All right. Limited edition snow day birch box. Looks like a, a CD sleeve. Okay. All right. So it starts with limited edition snow day birch box. Uh, as it said, when the weather outside is frightful, and even if it isn't, this collection of stylish, uh, stylish essentials will keep you cozy and entertained. Uh, and then this, these cards list all the products, uh, focus, all the products that are in here. Um, and then let's see what this is here. This is there's just some random things: flurries, birch box, um, words with friends, um, how to. How, sort of how to on some of the products. Uh, Power Drift, Birch Box, um, I guess some book recommendations, 
Blizzard Birch Box, what to do when it's a full on blizzard, um, perfect at home spa day, and then finally, uh, just a little more ways to stay cozy and bright. Uh, so that's kind of, that's really cute. Again, it's, it's really, it's not necessarily things that you need or that I would have even purchased, but you know, they make it such a production. Their production value is pretty high with this. So it makes it fun already. Now let's keep this card out so we can see what it is we're diving into. All right. So let me not try to have this go. Over. We'll just start with the, the socks on top. Now this is where I wasn't sure if it was unisex. Actually, these are either unisex or, or even men's. Um, and I thought they may be women's, so that's kind of nice. Um, these are Happy Socks. And I actually have purchased Happy Socks before. They're not a Birchbox exclusive. Um, I've gotten quite a few pairs of socks from Birchbox over the past year and a half or so. Um, I haven't gotten these before. But they're a decent quality. Um, sock, combed cotton. Uh, retails for, I think probably like maybe $8 or something. Um, let's see what it says here on the, the pack-in slip. Boom, 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 boom. Happy socks, combed cotton crew socks, warm your tootsies and upgrade your winter wardrobe with these punchy Swedish socks. Um, and it just says 9-11, so I assume that's men's size 9-11 because they look like a decent size. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's just go for it. Let's throw all of this on the floor. Um, next up, this, I do not know. What is this? Shantakaile. Uh, I usually am decent with pronouncing things, but I just really, I don't know what language that is to even try and attempt. Oh, let's see. And there's nothing on the box. So there are some, like, I think facial product samples. Um, this is kind of, this clearly is not retail packaging because if you look in the box, it's <laughs> just thrown in there. That's fine. Um, we've got first up. Flower infused cleansing milk. Uh, sorry, my nails are a little nasty today. Um, so there's that, a cleansing milk, which I guess is just a facial cleanser, I believe. And then a mm, jasmine and lily healing mask. Um, for time's sake, I'm not gonna open these and sniff these like I normally would. Um, I can always do more in depth if anyone's in, anyone is interested in the products. Um, but again, these are the, I'm gonna say Chantecale. Uh, or Chantecale, Kale, Chantecale. Flower infused, uh, this natural formula gently cleanses, hydrates, and brightens with blue corn flower. And then the next, a uh, give dry, wind burned skin a dose of pure calm with this rose water mask, which doubles as a night cream. Interesting. Try it, why not? So that's the Chantecale. Chantecale, please correct me if you know. Um, ooh, risky here, okay. Then we've got Mox Botanicals from Portland, Oregon, Body Soak, Matcha, and Clementine. Wow, I love both of those. So matcha, um, matcha powder is pulverized green tea leaves um, that you, uh, it's a ceremonial green tea uh, from Japan, obviously, um, where you actually, um, you ingest, you drink the tea leaves. It's pulverized powder. If you've ever had green tea ice cream or green tea flavored anything, um, it's sort of that chalky, light green colored um, powder, essentially, is, is what that is. And so this, I guess, is a bath soak that is, I, can't, I wish I could smell it, can't smell it through here, but clementine, you know, sweet orange, and matcha, clearly this is green, so matcha uh, is in there. And what do they say about that? Um, ba -ba -bum. Mox Botanicals Matcha and Clementine Body Soak. Drop these fast dissolving salts into hot water for a relaxing aromatic soak. I like it. To be fair uh, to me, <laughs> this is a pretty small amount of bath salts. I don't usually do baths or soaks or anything like that, but I would feel like if you're going to get a full experience, um, you probably need more than just this. This is maybe one or two tablespoons, not a whole lot, but again, uh, maybe it'll be a good foot soak or something. What is next? Let's do the reveal here. Okay, it looks like a lip, a lip chat or something. Um, this is that a peppermint lip balm. I made simply with only four ingredients, cocoa butter, coconut oil, beeswax, and peppermint essential oil, organic, fair trade, of course. Okay, I, I like that. Um, certified by Oregon Tilth, um, made in USA. And it's organic, yeah, USDA organic. That's nice, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not super concerned with, you know, I love, I love me some chapstick, which has, you know, I'm sure, petrol atom and mineral oil and all kinds of, you know, bad things in it for you. But, you know, I don't mind, uh, you know, a nice, natural, you know, coconut oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, and peppermint. 
yeah, it works for me. I, I do love minty peppermint things, especially again, Snow Day Box, why not? Uh, and again, reference back, let's see what it says. Don't read ahead. SW Basics Organic Lip Balm, Organic Moisturizers, and Essential Oils absorb instantly for soft, non-sticky lips, um, and hopefully non-glossy, which I'm sure it will be non-glossy. This, oh, very interesting. We've got uh, a candle, 16% Eau de Toilette Scented Votive Candle, um, Paired Performance System. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to read this not, I usually try to read it through the uh, screen here so I can make sure that you guys can see it as well, but it's a weirdly shaped box. I'm just going to read it directly. Uh, synthesizing notes of sexy green cannabis marijuana uh, and spicy extracts for their uplifting intox intoxication uh, and general aphrodisia cannabis modern cannabis is modern and addictive this peppery candle burns on its own and beautifully paired with our fresh green neroli yum uh creating a unique blend and perfect sensory balance notes i'm just gonna read this up close sorry guys uh, notes, top notes of orange and lemon, middle notes of fig and pepper, base notes of sandalwood and patchouli, paired with our fresh green neroli, uh, place candle, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so apparently this one is just the cannabis, but they also make a neroli one that you're supposed to burn with it. Um, Birchbox, I think may have given these candles in a recent Birchbox man box. I didn't receive any, um, but I know, I think I saw in a box that they did it. And so this is just a very simple, I guess that's melon and guts or goats, um, a simple wax, this looks to me like a soy, wa soy wax candle, uh, 67 grams, a small standard size votive, and the scent, the sniff, oh, this is a very soft wax. It's fairly light, um, I don't really get much of a cannabis note, um, a little bit of the peppery, a little bit of musky, kind of similar to uh, kind of like a black pepper bergamot, only a little bit more reserved, a little, a little bit more kind of care put into the blend. I'm gonna do a separate video once I burn that. I'm just review on that just because I kind of would like to get into other candle companies um, and home fragrance lines outside of Bath and Body Works. So I'd love to sort of dig in more um, to that company and their products. I think it's fairly pricey. I want to say, I think I saw on the Birchbox site that. Um, they have a tumbler or something that's, you know, it's one of those 30 or $40 candles, I think. And this one probably retailed, I think it was like 12 or something like that for a Voda, which, you know, two ounces of wax, that's, that is pricey. Um, but if it's great, you know, a splurge every once in a while won't kill you. Next, let's move on to the obvious, a Scrabble Birchbox Edition. That's kind of fun. I actually do not own Scrabble. Um, I'm not going to open it just because it would be a mess everywhere, but I'm not sure what makes it Birchbox edition it, other than it being made for them. Um, let's see if it says anything on here. Oh, uh, the votive candle. It said this petite candle is made from all natural waxes and dispenses a rich warm scent for up to 25 hours. Fine by me. Um, kind of a good size for maybe a, a restroom or something like that. And then Scrabble. Prove your mastery of the English language at home and on the road with, with this exclusive set. So it's their sort of, you know, mini game travel size. Um, so that's that's fun. Again, stuck in the house on a snow day. Play Scrabble. Use your brain. Um, looks like, oh, L'Occitane. That's it's kind of interesting to see such a big brand um, in Birchbox. Um, but I guess Kiehl's is in, in Birchbox sometimes too. So um, I really love L'Occitane. I don't use their products a whole lot. I'm kind of on a, I've been on a Kiehl's kick for the past year or so. Um, but they have really nice products. Um, I don't love all of their stuff. They're a little bit more focused on fragrance as opposed to always being like the best of the best formulas. Um, but they do, you know, to give them credit, they do have some very nice, um, formulas as well. Um, so this is in the envelope, it just says, uh, it's basically a discount, 10% off when you spend $25 or more. Um, a personalized mini facial, no thank you. Um... Da, da, da. We harvest natural ingredients in the countryside of southern France, essential oils for effective and sensorial skin care, body care, and fragrance formulas. Um, they, uh, yeah, they do have some nice stuff. Maybe I need to rediscover them. This is a travel sample size or deluxe sample size of what I think is probably called their most popular product, which is just their basic 20% um, shea dry skin hand cream, which clearly if you look at my hands, they need it. That's what happens when you use too much um, hand sanitizer because you... Or a dermaphobe. Um, and it just says here, 
All right, that's French, not gonna read it to you. So uh, it's just a, a super intense, high quality hand cream. So I will be actually, I will be applying that when this video is over because I clearly need it. Moving on, I'm not gonna make this super long, I promise. Um, cocoa powder, some fancy artisanal cocoa powder. Uh, Askinosi chocolate, I'm gonna call it. Natural non-alkalized cocoa powder. Oh, it's cocoa powder, it's not hot cocoa mix. Uh, bake, drink, or dust from the Philippines, single origin which is important these days. Looks like it's a resealable pouch. Interesting, I, I bet this is, you know, I bet you can tell the difference between this and just, you know, your big tub of standard Hershey's cocoa. Um, let's see what the, oops, what this says here about it. Askinosi chocolate, single origin cocoa powder, sourced from the Philippines. This fair trade cocoa powder is ideal for baking and drinking for the perfect hot cocoa mix or perfect hot cocoa, mix two tablespoons of powder, two tablespoons of sugar, and a one and a quarter cup of hot milk. Okay, fair enough. Um, who knew? Equal parts sugar and cocoa powder. That seems like, it, that must be an intense uh, hot cocoa, but why not? Go big or go home, right? And well, let us see. What else we've got here? Oh, fun. Um, fancy, again, artisanal food products are always a fun treat. Um, three tarts, cinnamon marshmallows, um, like very clearly handmade. This this is not your mama's uh, jet puff marshmallows. Um, really nice, soft pillowy marshmallows. How can you go wrong for your cocoa? Let's see what it says about those. Where are we? Uh, three tarts gourmet marshmallows, far from the store-bought variety. These handcrafted cinnamon squares are the perfect drink toppers. That's one of those things where they're probably oddly expensive, and when you can buy, you know, a big bag for a dollar or two um, versus, you know, probably a small tin of these, you know, most people go for the, the cheap stuff, but why not treat yourself something, a splurge, when it's a, you know, an unhealthy thing to eat anyway. Um, and then I think perhaps the last... The last huge thing in this box, if I can get here without knocking all of our snow packing material onto the floor. These are huge, oh my gosh. So one of the things that first really drew me is like, okay, the boxes must have, aside from me saying, oh, limited edition must get. Um, Jonathan Adler, Nifty Gifties Fireplace Matches. Now, I do not have a fireplace. I would love, eh, actually I wouldn't love to. <laughs> I don't have a fireplace. Um, but um, lighting candles, lighting um, Yankee jar candles, which I don't have many of them, but there I do have a few, and I actually don't have one of the long lighters. I just have little short standard lighters. Um, so it's kind of tough to light those sometimes. And these are like like apparently some fancy colored, um, let's see if I can, I'll open them here. Like a fancy colored, obviously, pattern for Jonathan Adler. Um, yeah, set of matches, I think they're 50, a pink tip. Maybe even one of those things where the flame is like, you know, a purple flame, not really sure. But they're clearly a very high quality, nice standard fireplace match. Super sturdy, got the big thing, and I assume, I don't know where you strike them, on the bottom, maybe? Yeah, that was like, that's probably it, you strike them on, right? Maybe? Uh, yeah, I would. If I wasn't holding uh, the camera in one hand, I would do a demonstration for you, but... Let's not burn the house down, right? Knock on wood. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are just uh, Jonathan Adler. Um, I'm not. Sh I don't know much about him, but I I know that like uh, I think very like mod or um, contemporary kind of um, home products with with this like sort of fancy styling to make standard products fun or fancy. Uh, he did a deck of cards, uh, playing cards in the Birchbox Home Limited Edition box from last year. Uh, and let's see what. Snow Day says about those. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Jonathan Adler Fire from Little Matches. Um, with striking patterned packaging, these extra long matches are worthy of your mantle. Now that it looks like the entire box. So again, is it worth $40? $40? Maybe not. I think I'm pretty sure that does include um, free shipping. So that's that's you know that's decent. Um, it's a fun mix of products. Again, this would be a really great gift. Um, because let's be honest, would you ever really think of or spend the time to think of all these tiny little, again, uniquely sourced um, products that are really within a theme um, and are, you know, high quality, kind of vetted by 
you know, birch box as being decent in quality. Um, things that you can't get at your, you know, Target or Walmart, um, mostly from boutique kind of places. Would you be able to put all this together yourself just as a box? Maybe, but it would take a lot of work. So if you're looking to gift someone $39 um, or even less if you have Birchbox points, I would say it's actually kind of worth it because you're going to pay, you know, buy someone a book, buy someone music, um, anything really. You're going to pay $20, 30 40 $50 um, for a decent gift. So, you know, why not have something that's really fun like this? And when it comes in with a the theme, the box, the presentation is, is you know, top notch. Um, in that sense, I would say totally worth it. Are they products that you like really need? No, not really. Um, which is why probably the Birchbox Home has so far um, just been sort of the fun limited edition boxes as opposed to a subscription service. If they had one and it was uh, six per year, I would probably subscribe to it um, just because again, it's fun. They could make it seasonal, whatever. So Birchbox, if you're out there watching, um, you know, you're, you're, you've done pretty well with, with the two that you've had so far. So uh, I would say go for it and, and try a a uh, beta version of Birchbox Home and just see where it goes. Um, so again, just a quick review of all the products here. Uh, we've got the Votive Candle, the Cocoa Powder, um, a Cleansing Milk, and a Healing Mask uh, facial care products. You've got a pair of Happy Socks, the Fireplace Matches, uh, the Sample of the L'Occitane uh, Shea Butter Hand Cream, the Matcha and Clementine Body Soak from Mox Botanicals, some Peppermint Organic Lip Balm, the Scrabble Birchbox Edition Mini Game Set, and then the Three Tarts Gourmet Marshmallows. The thing that I really like about this box is that it is, it's a nice mix of um, things that you'll, I mean, that you'll keep and you'll use, like your socks, your Scrabble, um, to a lesser extent the, the matches, um, and then things that you'll just use up. You know, you'll use up the cocoa powder, you eat the marshmallows, um, you'll burn your candle, but but it's a, a good mix of um, full-size real products and then just fun, unique things to test out that you may not normally buy for yourself. So um, overall, I enjoyed this box. I think it's it definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Um, I guess that's really all there is to say with this. Um, again, this is the, the overview of it. If you have any questions about it or want me to go a little more in-depth on any of these products, just let me know. I would be happy to. Um, again, I apologize for the shaky video. Um, but I wanted to be able to really dig in there and uh, give you the experience of diving into the box on your own in, in case you do not order it. Um, so again, as always, any questions, just hit me up below. Um, I believe there's a new thing with YouTube where you have to have a Google Plus account enabled um, to in order for people to reply to your comments on YouTube videos. Um, so please do um, enable that if you have not. Um, follow the page, uh, subscribe, like it all as, as, you, as you usually do. Um, and that's basically it for me. So until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.